In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn how to insert connections. Let's start by inserting a power connection. To insert a power connection, click on the power connection icon from the library. Then you can choose anything from a one-phase connection to a four-phase connection. Let's start with the single-phase connection. Click once to define the starting point, and click again to define the length. We can continue drawing from this point, or we can right-click to define a new starting point, and continue drawing from there as we did before. By default, orientation is orthogonal, but you can override that by holding the Shift key. Now let's insert a multi-phase connection. I'll choose a three-phase connection. From here, inserting a multi-phase connection is done in four clicks. The first click is to define the starting point. The second click is to define the orientation available in 45 degree increments. If the small line is vertical, it means you're going to draw a horizontal connection. If it's horizontal, it means you're going to draw a vertical connection. The third click is to define the length. The fourth click is to define the ending orientation. Done. I'm going to draw another three phase connection coming off of this one. First click to define starting point. Second click to define orientation. Third click to define length. If you've made a mistake, you can always right click to go back to the previous step. In this case, I want to redefine the length. Lastly, I click to define the ending orientation. Connection dots are automatically inserted. Right clicking to go back to the previous step can be done at any stage of inserting a connection. Now let's insert a control connection on a different page. The principles are the same as inserting a power connection. Select control connection from the library. I'll select two phase connection. First click to define the starting point. Click again to define orientation. Then click once more to define the length. Or we can hold the shift key and scroll with the mouse wheel to adjust the distance between the two connections. Now we can click to define the length. Then click again to define ending orientation. Now we can insert a single phase connection between these two and begin inserting our control components.